What's up, Odoers? Today we're talking about alternatives. Alternative work centers, that is. You see, larger manufacturing operations often require multiple work centers that can process the same type of work order. This allows for a work order to be rerouted to an alternative work center in the case that the main work center is busy or blocked for any other reason. By doing so, we're able to process work orders more quickly, preventing them from piling up at a single work center. Let's jump into our database to see how it works. All right, I'll begin by clicking on configuration and then down to work centers. Here I can see every work center I've created. As you can see, I've already got a few, including one assembly line titled assembly line one. Now, recently we've been having a backup of work orders at this work center. So we've decided to create a second assembly line that can also process them. I'll configure it in Odoo now by clicking on the new button in the upper left-hand corner. And I'll start by entering assembly line two as the work center's name. I also need to give this work center a code to distinguish it from the other work centers. The code at our first assembly line is ASL1, so let's enter ASL2 as the code of this work center. I'm also going to add the assembly tag in the tag field to make it easier to find this work center when we're trying to see all of our assembly lines. The last field I need to worry about in this section is the alternative work centers field. This field is where we declare which other work centers can accept work orders that this particular work center might be unable to handle. I'll select assembly line one from this drop down. And now if this assembly line two work center is too busy or inoperative, clicking the plan button on a manufacturing order will reroute its work orders to assembly line one instead. I'm also going to select this work center, assembly line two, as the alternative for assembly line one. But first let's take a look at the equipment tab. This is where we specify the equipment required for this work center to function. When comparing alternative work centers, it's essential that each work center is configured with the same equipment. This ensures an operation carried out at one work center can also be carried out at the others. For example, it would be really inconvenient if we try to start a work order at our saw station and instead of finding a table saw, the only work center that was equipped with a orange. At our assembly line, the only piece of equipment we need is the power drill. I'll add the drill to this work center by clicking add a line, selecting our power drill in the checkbox, and in the resulting pop-up window, I'll just click select. All right, that's all we needed to configure for this work center. Before we move on, I'm gonna return to the work centers page by clicking on configuration and then work centers once again. We're gonna click on assembly line one and add assembly line two in the alternative work centers field. You should also notice that on the general information tab below here, this work center's capacity is set as one. This means it can only process one product at a time. For more information about work center capacity, as well as some of the other settings that you're seeing on this page here, check out our work center parameters video. Now, if I go back to the work centers page through the breadcrumbs, you can see in the alternative work centers column that assembly line one and assembly line two have each other. All right, we're all set to use our work centers to manufacture some products. For this example, let's manufacture a couple of units of our chair. We'll start by looking at the products build materials and we can access that by clicking on products and then build materials. And then we're gonna select our chair product. If I click on the operations tab here, we can see that the manufacturing has one step, which is our assemble operation, which is carried out at assembly line one. Now let's go ahead and create a manufacturing order or MO for that chair. And to do that, we're going to select on operations and select on manufacturing orders, select new in the upper left hand corner, and we're just going to add chair to our product field. And then all we have to do is click on confirm. Then when I click on the work orders tab, where I can see our assemble operation is, as expected, it's scheduled to be processed at assembly line one. So I'll go ahead and just click start on this. And since our assembly line one work center has a capacity of one, this work center is now at capacity until the work order is completed. So let's go ahead and create an identical MO by clicking on this gear icon here and selecting duplicate. And then just like the same time before, I'm gonna hit confirm. As you can see in the work centers tab, assembly line one is still scheduled. However, if I click on the plan button here at the top of the MO, the column updates to assembly line two. With the work orders for that MO scheduled at different work centers, we're now able to process them simultaneously and take full advantage of our assembly line facilities. And that's all I've got for you today, folks. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time.